Okay, now let's go through the beginning stages of creating our video. Okay, so again, we choose Animoto Short. And what we're going to do is upload from our computer this time. Okay, and here are the images that we chose for ClickBank Pirate. Now, you notice that they're not all showing up here. And that is going to be because some of them are not in the right format. If we go back and have a look, we have all of these images in here, but some of them are PNG images, and it doesn't know what to do with those. So what we need to do is convert those. So it's very easy to do. All you have to do is right-click on it, do an open with, and we could choose paint or paint.net. Let's just choose paint. Okay, and then we have it in there. Let's do a save as, and then we'll just change this down here to JPEG. That's all we have to do. Okay, and save. And it's now a JPEG file as well. Okay, same with the other ones that were PNG. So this one, open with paint, do a file, save as, and then we'll just change it. JPEG. Okay, let's go back again. Now, you notice that on my computer I can see these extensions. You may not be able to if you don't have your computer set to see those. So what you can do instead, just right click, select properties, and then it's going to tell you what type of image it is here. So if you can't see it, that's how you can find it. Okay, so the CB card also, we need to open this with paint. No, we did that one. Okay, and then coaching, we also need to do that one. So open with paint, save as JPEG. Okay, and that should be all of them. Okay, now if we go back to Animoto again, do upload from your computer, now all of our images are showing up for us. So we can just hold down the control key, grab them all. So we don't want that one, we want this one, like so. Okay, we bring in all of our images, it'll upload them for us. Okay, from here we have two different methods we can use. One is to have the pictorial method and just tell your story with pictures and background music. And the other method is to use your pictures but also use an audio soundtrack that you record. So first we're going to try and tell our story with pictures. Okay, so what you want to do is arrange the pictures naturally and take out any pictures that you don't need here. So we can, we don't need this one, so let's just take that one away. So we just click delete down here. That one's gone. And now we'll keep that one. We'll put that one at the end. Okay, so there is our product name. And there is our membership. And these are people collaborating. The money. Let's put the money here, showing the money. And then these are the people collaborating. And finally, click the link. Okay, so this is going to be our little story here. Now what we might want to do is add another image in here showing something like success with an arrow between these two. So we can easily do that with paint.net again. Let's go to Google Images. Okay, let's just type in arrow. Okay, and then we want a right-facing arrow of some sort. We'll just go until we find one that we like. Okay, so say we want to use this one, just click on there. Let's look at the full-size image. And then we'll save this. And we'll save this into our, let's we'll call it arrow. Okay, now you see it's a PNG image again. 
but that doesn't matter at this point. What we're going to do is open up paint.net again. And then what we'll do is do layers and import from file. Okay, bring an arrow. And then what we want to do is create another layer. And we'll do text. And then we can select the font up here if we want. Something like that. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll save as this time I'll save it as a JPEG let's call it arrow all right now let's go back to Animoto let's add more let's bring in our arrow Oh, we should have cropped the image there. Let's go back to here. Now let's go to image and crop the selection. Okay, there we go. Let's save it. Now let's delete this. Re-import it. As you see, if we don't do crop the selection, we get more image than we want there. So let's try this again. Okay, that's what we're after. Okay, so what we're saying here is ClickBank Pirate, a membership equals success, pointing at the money, and then we have a collaboration here. We might want to explain this one a little better. We could put equals happiness between this or something like that, or full support. Whatever you want here, we could put something in between there if we want, and then this telling them to click. Now the other thing we could do is edit this image in paint.net again and re-upload it. So let's edit this image with a message on it. Let's just do a new Okay, and then we'll do a layer and then we'll import from file. This time we're going to pick the collaboration here. Doesn't matter really. We'll pick the, the JPEG one. And then what we'll do is we'll switch to white for our writing. And right in the laptop here, we'll put whatever message we want there. Okay, let's knock the font down a bit. Something like that. So that's how you could put your message in there. And then let's do image, crop to selection, and save. Get a JPEG and call it support. In this case, we'll save, flatten, and done. Okay, now let's go back here. Let's add more. Let's pick support. Let's delete this one. do that. Okay, we now have the slideshow part of it done. Next, what we want to do is add some music. Now, if we're doing a music pictorial, we're going to want just some simple music that doesn't really have any lyrics to it, just some background type music. So let's go to select, find something that's just uh, mild background music. 
see if they find something in here. Okay, so you can find tracks like this in instrumental. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this coming back for you. I'll select that one. And we'll save and continue. Okay, and then we'll give it a title and CD Pirate, create video. Okay, and away it goes. Okay, and now it's finished rendering, so I'm just going to play it through here. You're not going to be able to hear the music, but you'll be able to see what the pictorial looks like. So let's play through. And there you have it. There is our promotional video. Now if you want to use a voice soundtrack, you can go ahead and do that just by using Windows Recorder. Just record a message and put it in there instead of the soundtrack. Let's have a look here. Okay, so Windows has a sound recorder. So you can just use that. Just do start recording and it will record what you say. So you can go ahead and record what you want to say so it should go along with your pictorial okay so we're 29 seconds we're going to stop the recording at 29 seconds and then we will save it as something here okay so we'll call it sound and we're done okay now if we go look in our folder that we have all of our stuff in for CB pirate we'll see here we have sound okay so that's our soundtrack Okay, now the problem here is that Animoto will only read MP3, and this is a WMA. So if you have a, some sort of an MP3 sound recorder, you should use that. If you don't, if you're just going to use a Windows one, you're going to need to convert it. And we have a free WMA to MP3 converter at WMA-MP3.org. Okay, so you can just download that. There's a link to that within the resources document so just download it and install it okay and here's the program running so what you want to do now is just click add files okay here's our WMA file and CD pirate directory that I have okay and click next next again we don't care about the titles and click OK just click start and the conversion starts and it's converted so let's view the output files if we go in here there is our mp3 file okay so now we can go and continue on the Animoto side so let's go back to Animoto let's go to our toolbar and edit Okay, we're going to go past pictures there, and we're going to change the soundtrack. And we're going to upload from our computer, and there's our MP3. Okay, so it's bringing it in. Okay, so here we can fill in what we want now because we actually use something from our own computer. So we could put CB Pirate or whatever we want here. And under Artist, you just put your name, save and continue. Okay, and then continue. Create the video. 
and it'll go and render it again now. Okay, now it's done rendering. So if you were to play this now, it would look exactly the same, but it is going to play the soundtrack that you recorded. Actually, look a little bit different because they render a little bit different every time as far as the picture effects are concerned. Okay, so those are the two methods you can use to make your slideshow presentation with Animoto. In the next video, we're going to go over some promotion techniques for these videos.